Now we will create a new report where we will show you how to create an aggregation. First of all, we will create a new report and we will call it as aggregation. Click finish. From the data explorer, we will create a new data source and we will call it as classic. Click next and finish. Now let's create a new data set. We get DS. Next. In the query section, we will select the certain columns from uh, customer table, order table, product table, and order details product uh, table, and will perform the inner join on the various columns. To get the following output columns, and if you click on the preview results, you will see all the data coming from the different uh, tables are consolidated in a single data set. Now click on the computed columns. To get a new aggregator column, we will create a new column. Click on the new and let's call it as total price. In data type, select float and in expression, click on this expression builder. So you will notice that there is a new uh, window will pop up known as expression builder. Here click on the available data set. Select the table name. And from here we'll double click the quantity ordered and then we'll again double click the price each. Now click between this quantity ordered and price age and from the operator select asterisk. So these are the various operators to uh, that which you can use for the desired function. So here we are multiplying quantity ordered by the price age. Select OK. And this will be our result for the new computed column called total price. Now click on preview results and you will notice that we have generated a new column called total price. Click on OK and simply drag and drop this data set and select all to see a table formed within this report. Now let's run this report in a web viewer. So here is the report that will give you the aggregation value as well. So this way you can set a computed column and apply the aggregator in a report. <coughs>